This month, we've got a way for partners to get more leads, a TED Talk standard session on designing for portability, new white papers, ebooks, industry news, events, and more. This is the partner roundup for MSPs, dev shops, digital agencies, and managed hosting providers. Let's do it. Congratulations on joining our partner program. It is wonderful to have you on board. Leads? Have you got any leads? We're looking forward to a true long-term partnership. Yes, but where are my leads? I want my leads. And you've got everyone here in the team to help you plan, to put together some strategic activity. I need leads. Where are my leads? I need my leads. Give me some leads. I need leads. Okay, so that might not be a totally accurate depiction of how our partner conversations go, but I do know that you guys love it when we send you leads. With that in mind, let me hand you over to Mickey, who's going to share a brand new free edition for partners to help you generate more business. Mickey, what have you got for us? Hey y'all, Mickey from the partner team. As James was saying, we have some exciting news to share. We have launched our partner directory. So what does that mean? Well, exposure on our website with our top professional and strategic partners, as well as what we love to hear, a new source of lead generation. This is a really exciting time where those who are coming to Akamai Cloud and looking for assistance with migrations or hosting or web and application development, they can come and find our trusted partners like yourself and request information from you about, hey, how do we get started? Here's information on my project. We're excited to be a part of this growing relationship between our users and our partners and are very thankful that we get to do this with you. Go check it out. Building for portability is ultimately about being cloud agnostic, treating cloud providers like us as a commodity and always using the one that's best for your customer requirements. We're talking about cloud native design, and this is using the world of incredible open source tools out there. That's what senior solutions engineer Billy Thompson's super engaging talk was about at the recent Cloud Expo event in London. That workload is not portable. It is vendor locked. It is stuck there. And the longer it is stuck there, the longer and more difficult it can be to untangle from that. Check out the link below for that talk in full. Plus, there's a bonus chat from the show where Billy and I debriefed after the talk in more detail. In 2020, the world changed forever. And for lots of us, the pandemic was our first taste of working from home. Companies everywhere were clambering to embrace the cloud just to support their workforce and to stay in business. Now we're facing a slightly different challenge with the economic downturn, and many of your customers are starting to look back and scrutinize those cloud investments. In our latest white paper, we give you five questions that will help you think about which clouds are best suited for which workloads. Because as we know, every customer is different. Download it from the link below. In this brand new YouTube video, Cybersecurity Pro Hackersploit takes a look at Trivi, an open source vulnerability scanner for developers, security researchers, and DevOps teams. And he shows you how to use it to scan your Docker images for vulnerabilities. Trivi is created by a company called Acrosec. As you can see, the description is fairly simple here. Scanner for vulnerabilities in container images, file systems, and Git repositories, as well as for configuration issues. If I say the name CompTIA, what does that mean to you? Some of you might think about certifications, some of you won't have a clue. Well, that is a shame because these guys work tirelessly for the good of the MSP community through peer groups around the world, marketing content, free security tools, and much more. At the recent get together in Chicago, Vice President for Cybersecurity Programs, Wayne Selk, announced their brand new security trust mark just for MSPs. Now, it's something the industry badly needs as we hopefully edge closer towards some sort of industry regulation. And it details a clear path for MSPs to achieve that baseline of cybersecurity hygiene. Check out the links below for more information. And if you're an MSP and you're not a CompTIA member, you need to rectify that. It's not at all expensive and it's just a no-brainer if you're serious about growing your business. Link below. We've got three awesome events for you in the next few months. 
Hopefully, I'll see you at the behemoth of an event that is KubeCon and Cloud NativeCon in Amsterdam. That's April the 18th to the 21st. We'll be at PyCon in Utah. That's April the 19th through to the 27th. And last but not least, it's the big one. It's Channel Partners in Vegas, 1st to the 4th of May. Catch the full team there with plenty of swag. And if you're going, make sure you give us a shout. We'd love to see you there. Partners at Lino.com. Drop us an email. That's it from me. If you're an existing member of our partner program, thank you so much for your continued support. We never take that for granted. If you're totally new to Linode and Akamai, head on over to our partner page for details of our program and a link to grab $500 of free credit to test us out with. I hope you found this useful. Please hit like and subscribe if you did. Have a good one and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.